The electronic features in the Cummins engine also control when the engine brake can be activated. Using the engine brake instead of or along with the service brakes provides more braking power. It also reduces wear on the service brakes. In severe braking conditions, the engine brake minimizes the chance of service brakes overheating and brake fade. It also reduces cycling of the air compressor for service brakes. With the Cummins ISX-15, the engine compression brake is engineered in as an integral part of the engine. This inner brake develops up to 600 braking horsepower. This engine compression brake is optional in some models. Cummins is the only engine manufacturer to offer an integrated engine brake. The engine brake is programmable in the ECM. For example, in order to reduce engine braking in city driving, your fleet might specify that engine braking is not available below 35 miles per hour. This reduces vehicle noise and is more likely to comply with local noise ordinances. Another setting allows the cruise control feature to activate the engine brake should road speed exceed the cruise control limit when going downhill. You can use the switch in the cab to turn the engine brake feature on and off. Use another switch to set the level of engine braking power to either low, medium, or high. Make sure you know how the engine brake is configured for your engine so you know the way it works and what to expect. While engine braking may offer a number of benefits, probably the best way to increase fuel economy in braking is to anticipate the traffic ahead of you and to try to avoid sudden stops and slowdowns. The most efficient operators minimize the number of times they use the service brakes by keeping a high field of vision and anticipating slowdowns. Time for a knowledge check. The Cummins engine brake can save wear on driveline components and the service brakes, but what's the best way to save fuel in braking? Here's the answer. Probably the best way to increase fuel economy in braking is to anticipate the traffic ahead of you and to try to avoid sudden stops and slowdowns.